The Future Airborne Capability Environment, or FACE Consortium, started over a decade ago. Uh, the goals of the consortium are to collaborate, to innovate business processes, and develop open software standards. Primarily, we started as an aviation software, but you can find components of the software standard in ground vehicles, commercial aircraft, uh, weapon systems, simulation. Good software principles are just that and can be applied across many different areas. The MOSA Tri-Services Memo named, I believe, four standards. Uh, the FACE Technical Standard was one of those four that was named. So it is endorsed by all services of the U.S. Department of Defense, which is huge. When you look at the five principles of MOSA, we're actually one of very few, if not the only, standard that addresses all five of them. Uh, the FACE Consortium has a comprehensive conformance program, which very few other standards have. The FACE Technical Standard was developed using over 60 national and international recognized standards. We took all those standards, brought it together in a structured way to form the FACE Technical Standard. Last year, the FACE Consortium opened membership to uh, organizations from Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Anytime you bring uh, new people, new ideas together, you create new synergies. And I think it's an opportunity to create a new energy within the FACE Consortium. The world is a very small place. You're seeing allies work together in new ways and ways we never have before. And if we're gonna do that, we have to learn how to develop products that can be quickly and easily integrated and quickly and easily improved. We know that the FACE Consortium benefits not just the government, but industry as well. Otherwise, we would not have over 90 member organizations. But some of those benefits are expert answers to difficult questions, but also just the opportunity to work together to look at innovations and how we can move our industry forward, uh, particularly in software development.